is the Emergency Medical Minute. Okay, I was driving in today, and uh, when I got into Inglewood, I was, you know, it was nice and warm, and everybody had their windows down, as they should, and I saw this huge cloud of smoke come out of a car in front of me, looked different than your normal kind of cigarette smoke, and then I drove up next to him, I saw the guy with a big, uh, you know, vaping, and it was, it was, you know, big steam cloud of vape and I was just kind of thinking about a study I read the other day that um, you know uh, people started vaping because they thought it would be uh, healthier and less dangerous for them and there's a lot of studies that show in many different ways that it's not but uh, I think a totally unintended consequence may may be that people who vape uh, looks like they could have a higher risk of having pneumonia. Um, and so I don't know how they did this study or why they decided to look, but um, uh, apparently being exposed to e-cigarette vapor um, can increase a molecule in the um, epithelial cells of the airway that uh, can increase your risk of getting pneumonia. Their ex- scientists did a study where they looked at this molecule, which is called platelet activating receptor factor. And um, the thing about this molecule is it actually aids pneumococcal bacteria in getting into the airway cells. And so it's felt to be like a doorway and an aid for pneumococcus to cause infections. And so what they did is they did a series of experiments uh, looking at this platelet activating factor receptor. And uh, first of all, they took human epithelial cells from the airway, they exposed them to e-cigarette vapor, and they found that there was a threefold increase in this molecule um, when they did that. Uh, Secondly, they took uh, some rodents and they exposed them to e-cigarette vapor and then uh, looked at their lungs. And again, there was an increase in this molecule. Then they took 17 regular um, e-cigarette users, vapors, and they took them to the lab and they measured the amount of this molecule in their bodies before and an hour after vaping. And again, exactly across the board, there was a three times increase in this molecule. So they actually proposed, although it hasn't been shown to be a fact, that um, just using e-cigarettes could definitely increase maybe as much as threefold your risk for getting pneumococcal pneumonia. Another reason not to do it. Yeah. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.